The ear is the avenue to the heart. It is not love that should be depicted as blind, but self-love. Love has features which pierce all hearts. He wears a bandage which conceals the faults of those beloved. He has wings. He comes quickly and flies away the same. This self-love is the instrument of our preservation. It resembles the provision for the perpetuity of mankind. It is necessary. It is dear to us. It gives us pleasure and we must conceal it. Love is a canvas furnished by nature and embroidered by imagination. Nothing can be more contrary to religion and the clergy than reason and common sense. Of all religions, the Christian should of course inspire the most tolerance, but until now Christians have been the most intolerant of all men. When it is a question of money, everybody is of the same religion. Superstition is to religion what astrology is to astronomy, the mad daughter of a wise mother. These daughters have too long dominated the earth. The truths of religion are never so well understood as by those who have lost the power of reason. Wherever there is a settled society, religion is necessary. The laws cover manifest crimes and religion covers secret crimes. I have never made but one prayer to God, a very short one, O oh Lord make my enemies ridiculous, and God granted it. It is not known precisely, where angels dwell whether in the air, the void, or the planets. It has not been God's pleasure that, we should be informed, of their abode. If God created us in his own image, we have more than reciprocated. God gave us the gift of life. It is up to us to give ourselves the gift of living well. I die adoring God, loving my friends, not hating my enemies and detesting superstition. Nothing would be more tiresome than eating and drinking if God had not made them a pleasure as well as a necessity. To believe in God is impossible not to believe in him is absurd. If there were no God, it would be necessary to invent him. God is a comedian playing to an audience too afraid to laugh. All men are born with a nose and ten fingers, but no one was born with the knowledge of God. Governments need to have both shepherds and butchers. The art of government is to make two thirds of a nation pay all it possibly can pay for the benefit of the other third. An ideal form of government is democracy tempered with assassination. In general, the art of government consists of taking as much money as possible from one class of citizens to give to another. Friendship is the marriage of the soul and this marriage is liable to divorce. It is not sufficient to see and to know the beauty of a work. We must feel and be affected by it. Stand upright, speak thy thoughts, declare the truth thou hast that all may share, be bold, proclaim it everywhere, the only live who dare. It is one of the superstitions of the human mind to have imagined that virginity could be a virtue. The ancients recommended us to sacrifice to the graces, but Milton sacrificed to the devil. Never argue at the dinner table for the one who is not hungry always gets the best of the argument. He shines in the second rank, who is eclipsed in the first. Stand upright, speak thy thoughts, declare the truth thou hast, that all may share be bold, proclaim it everywhere, the only live who dare. Do well and you will have no need 
for ancestors. He who is not just is severe, he who is not wise is sad. Perfection is attained by slow degrees, it requires the hand of time. Ice cream is exquisite, what a pity it isn't illegal. The superfluous, a very necessary thing. Life is thickly sown with thorns, and I know no other remedy than to pass, quickly through them. The longer we dwell on our misfortunes, the greater is their power to harm us. When he to whom, one speaks does not understand, and he who speaks himself does not understand, that is metaphysics. What then do you call your soul? What idea have you of it? You cannot of yourselves, without revelation, admit the existence within you of anything, but a power unknown to you of feeling, and thinking. It is the flash which appears, the thunderbolt will follow. Meditation is the dissolution, of thoughts in eternal awareness or pure consciousness, without objectification, knowing without thinking, merging finitude in infinity. He must be very ignorant for he answers, every question he is asked. We cannot wish for that we know not. It is an infantile superstition, of the human spirit that virginity would be thought a virtue, and not the barrier that separates ignorance, from knowledge. As long as people, believe in absurdities, they will continue to commit atrocities. What are the makers of literal translations, who by rendering every word weak in the meaning? It is indeed by so doing that, we can say the letter kills, and the spirit gives life. Every man is guilty, of all the good he did not do. Froth at the top, dregs at bottom, but the middle excellent. The opportunity for doing mischief, is found a hundred times a day, and of doing good once in a year, 